Hey everyone, it's Graham Coleman with Daily Extra, and I'm here with Jason Ryle, the Executive Director of Imaginative. How are you? I'm doing really well. Thanks, Graham. Can you tell us what Imaginative is all about? Sure, absolutely. We're a festival that celebrates the work of Indigenous, also known as Aboriginal here in Canada, uh, filmmakers who are working in film, video, audio, and new media. We're the world's largest Indigenous film festival, and we take place right here in Toronto. And what kind of LGBT content do you guys have this year? We always have really strong work in the festival this year. Uh, we have um, Sydney Freeland's uh, Drunk Town's Finest, which is a feature film playing on the Thursday, and it's preceded by Thursa Cuthand, who is a remarkable experimental artist who explores a lot of lesbian and queer issues in her work. So there's a, a small but really strong and fantastic contingent of work in the festival that has overt content, and there's other work that are created by queer artists as well in, in the festival. Well, Drunk Town's Finest is a feature that follows the lives of three people with three different genders on a reserve. Um, do you think this will resonate with people living on reserves? And will it resonate differently with people living off of reserves? I think the beauty of this work is that I think people take, can take anything from uh, these stories, regardless of where they're from. Um, I think certainly the film itself resonates for people who have experience uh, or history of living on reserves or who do live on reserves. Uh, and I think what's wonderful about this film in particular is that it really paints the complexity and beauty uh, and the darker side of things on a reserve uh, that exists in any community across Canada or around the world. Why did you feel like it was important to include this film in the festival? For many reasons. Again, it's something new. It's something. It's a story that we haven't seen before. Uh, the focus on the three genders was something that was really innovative, and I think one that we felt worked really well with the story being told. Sydney Freeland, as well, is a phenomenal up-and-coming artist based in the States, uh, and she's going to be a queer filmmaker, so we're really excited about her future work. It's a great film, again, I think that shows uh, an Indigenous perspective, an Indigenous Navajo perspective on three genders, but tells a contemporary story of three Navajo youth who are really entering adulthood. I know that I can represent the Navajo women as both sovereign and self-determined. Please don't. Um, I'm sorry, can you repeat that in English? Next. Hello, my name Aquí is Dona. She, Felicia, John, Yashia, Sanja, Kinnis, Ben, Ajini, Bushishi, Midish, Gishni, Bushishi. And you guys have a short film with LGBT content called The Clan. And in the description, it says it's about a two spirited young man, but in the film itself, he refers to himself as gay. So, is there a difference between two spirited and gay? Again, it's a cultural difference, and I think it's a, it's a it's a preference in terms of whomever wants to um, to write those. I wrote that note specifically, uh, and as a two-spirited First Nations person, it's something that I wanted to include in the note as a reference point from my perspective. So a lot of people think that you have to be from a certain place to be two-spirited, and there's a lot of discussion about what it really encompasses. What's your take on that? I was taught to believe that it was uh, you're born with two spirits, so it's part of the third gender. Uh, again, there's different spectra in regards to that. But I think it's a, it's a cultural tradition that I have, and it's a cultural belief that I have, and it's something that uh, I really hold dear. Great. Well, thank you for speaking with us. Absolutely. Thank you.